Keith uh, is actually here doing, uh, doing controller mods with the cross slash controller. So a little bit of shout out there if you need something done to your controller. He does, I think, all, all forms of controllers to some extent, but definitely pro controllers and PFQ controllers, which most of y'all are using. For sure. Uh, in the back room for those of you still here. So I'll we'll give him a little shout out in the ad, but yeah, it'll be an exchange for him giving me all the info since he is a Ken player. He's giving me the comprehensive breakdown since otherwise I would have never known anything about Ken and Ryu. And that's one thing we didn't really talk about, that Zero Suit Sam is there. Ryu's going to have to be careful kind of maneuvering around that, too, because it's got so much range. She doesn't have to just do it falling. She could kind of do it a little bit before, like, climax of short hop. So it's just another thing Ryu's got to watch out for. Iken is looking pretty anxious to get in right there. He actually gets punished as she was the first one finding damage, and he kind of carts Iken around for a little bit. I can get out without taking too much damage, and she's definitely not in position to confirm off that or anything. And they're just going to be trading in and out of neutral pretty steadily. And that's Shakimetsu. They buffed that, so that's just a straight 17% now. Like, raw. That's not even including with the stanky feet. <laughs> She was down smash there, was looking pretty punishable, but I can still kind of sizing out his opponent, not wanting to overcommit right there, but he's going to get stunned right there, and up he finishes off the first stock in favor of Shu. Oh, doesn't get to dash forward, so misses it, but doesn't get punished for missing the up smash. Up smash kind of having, not really, for what the move is and for how it hits, it doesn't have as much lag as one would think. I can just have a really hard time getting in right here. She was just using the aerial movement to drift around. She's just throwing out moves, some some zares, some grabs, and neutral bees. Just putting on some pressure from a distance. But I can finally has the ledge to his advantage. He finds the Tatsu right there, which is going to hit pretty hard. But he doesn't really have a follow-up, especially as she was able to just flip kick right to the middle of state. Flip kicking right back up, looking for a two-frame. But Icon delays a little bit longer. He's going to get himself right back up without getting killed off. He's found quite a bit of damage in these trades just because he can hit a lot harder when they do. And good reaction, noticing that the stun put him behind. We're going to miss the tech on the back air. And she yeah. is sitting on the third stock still. This is looking pretty dominant from Shu. He's just waiting for Iken to overextend. And he's, I mean, just like we said, he does not want to engage neutral. So he's just waiting so patiently for the options to come out. Ooh, there we go. Up smash. Not a commonly seen move, but a decent out of shield option nonetheless. Hey, you know, sometimes you, you land on a shielding for you and you're just going to die. You, you kind of got to accept that one. Like, I, I can has been not giving Shu much competition in neutral there, but anytime you're going to be breaking neutral with the Shoto, you, you got to be playing real safe about that. And I think Shu kind of let down his guard that way. And I can also do him pretty good at not getting nared. He's just kind of getting tagged, eating a lot of percent, getting tagged in neutral by back airs and zares, but we're, he hasn't died at like 40 from a nair flip kick yet. There we Ooh. go. Oh. oh no, that focus punch does find its mark earlier. I can pull it seeing the same opportunity, but Shu just delayed a little bit longer and found the second kill on the game. But I can get the focus punch here. He's just not in range to actually get back to stage though. Uh oh, got a little low battery on the pro controller. And what he actually did there was smart because Ryu's back air in the air doesn't have, it has a decent amount of lag. So he wouldn't have made it back if he didn't cancel the back air with the up B. I mean, he didn't make it back back there, but. I love the setup over here in bottom left corner over Iken. Since uh, he doesn't have a Twitter, it's just Chicago. Yeah. So you, like, I look at the corner, it's just like a picture of Chicago. Yeah. Just Iken. I don't know if the Chicago guys would disagree with that one too much either. But we're going to. PS2's cousin, small battlefield. I don't, I'm not aware of anything that's gonna change this so much other than just the the distance of the edges of the map. Yeah, it's kill a little kill bit really. earlier, which I'm not sure what icons thoughts are on that. I don't know if he's really gonna be needing it more. If he's looking to kill with some of his weaker moves, since he's having such a hard time getting into his full combo game. He, he can do so much damage with just a few buttons right there. The, the down tilt, down tilt, Hadouken is like 60%. And I think he still has the jump. Yep, so he's going to oh, make yes. it back. 
Yeah, you got to keep that economy. Make sure you have that jump, especially when you've got a uh, little bit limited recovery right there. The parry, though, is so big. And she's the one losing the first stock here. Even after looking so dominant in the first game, I think she might be looking a little anxious. He was definitely over the course of the last game, especially on last dog. He wanted to close it out. And Iken was just going to keep that same consistent play style. I mean, he's got to push in to try and get on shoot, but he's got to play safe because he can get punished really easy just like that. We're sitting on an even game. Looking on, I can look at a lot better this game. He was definitely starting to find the footing last game. Ended up getting those two stocks. Yeah, that there, it's not as safe, but if you hesitate, if you don't have great out of shield options, you're still going to get that jab mashed on you. And we're going to be tossing fireballs. Nice. She went for a cross up right there. I think forgetting that I think it's going to have the auto turn around makes it really easy to push right up and punish. He gets his down tilt combo again into the Hadouken. And at the low percent, so that's uh, what you can get in his 40%, which is a great start right there. But he's having a hard time finding his in on Shu once again. Shu finds some damage up top, but once again, stuck in the down tilt combo as they're back to neutral and staying pretty close. Ooh, nice. And I'm not sure if I can try to dash out of the focus to maybe just get some movement, but. Shu's up B is just going to stuff it. <laughs> Shu trying to avoid Icon, run into the edges of the map. But Icon using his movement options to their fullest to just chase him down. He's going to find his kill right there. He's been looking for that option to uh, get up B his way out of uh, Shu's life. And he finally finds another stock ahead. He's having a much better time getting in this game. And the reason Icon is going for jab jab into the Shoryuken is because... The down tilts push him away a little bit. So he can't get the sweet spot of the Shoryuken if he could even get it sometimes. So the jab, the one jab hits, the second jab pushes him forward a little bit, and then the Shoryu is just perfectly aligned. Yeah, you said Shu has experience with Ken. You can see it whenever the focus punches come out. He knows exactly where the timing is to be getting an advantage, though. So he's punishing him really hard most of the times that Icon's been using. It's actually having a hard time using the focus punch to get up on top of Shu. And I'm pretty sure, you know, just kind of the fear of just dying early from Ken and kind of having the experience. You just clank from that from underneath. <laughs> That's so funny. Is that uh, just an up tilt that clanks with up smash? Yeah, hard up tilt. But um, I, that's probably why Shu isn't opting for any grabs, just because if she does whiff, she doesn't want to get blown up for it. There's that multi-hit on Nair. It gets out of the <gasps> focus punch. The forward air oh. one. That sucks. I mean, like we were saying, Iken doesn't have a lot of luxury with his recovery, so any small blunder is going to do it. If you don't have that jump while you're far out, you're just dead. If you're not erroneously air dodge, you're just dead. He might have even been able to live if it was an up, uh, upward air dodge, too. Yeah. Been able, probably to get to ledge right there, but just an erroneous flick right there seals his fate in the game, And that's too. one of the probably only good situations where Zero Suit Fair not connecting both hits actually goes in favor because I'm pretty sure that's what Icon was expecting the second hit to come out but yeah it's trying to do too right well now. at bringing it into the second hit this match is a top 32 qualifier the other player who loses have enough oh, qualify through the bottom was bracket oh Oh, first hit lands there, but it doesn't continue. I'm not sure if it will kill quite at that percent. They're looking pretty close to the blast zone up top, but I can definitely suffer it on the beginning of game three. He's got to show a real different showing on game three. He's got to find the adaptations to Shu because Shu's giving him a hard time. Oh, I thought for a second she wasn't going to grab the ledge. Just platform camping up there, making sure that I can can't approach because I can's approach can be so deadly. Ooh. Uh, the super armor finds his mark there, but the focus punch reverse is not quite finding his mark either on Shu. He's going to extend out on the ledge. Ooh, use that uh, that ledge jump or the, the wall jump to uh, engage there as well. Trying to mix up Icon with something he hasn't oh. shown him yet. <laughs> Down tilt in each direction. <laughs> He's, he's spin kicking, throwing out all those hitboxes. He needs to find some way to get in. Another one of his focus punches getting meted out by Shu. Focus shoes dash into the back is gonna find that kill. And that focus dash, when you when you do the focus dash, you kind of have to let it rock. It's like a like a forward dash in a, like a dash in a traditional game. You have to wait for the dash to end before you can do anything out of it. Yeah, so he just ends up getting kind of stuck in there. Iken does have ledge advantage right here, but Shu has been 
very hard to ledge. Guardy's trying to punish any opportunity I can try to land on stage right there. Would have been uh, an easy up for another like 20 percentage. Doesn't quite find it there, but he's still just continuing to dominate Iken right there. Got a Tatsu to get back in, but she was going to go low, finding the second stock on this game. He just needs one more to secure his spot. In top 32, he's not going to hang on to that life any longer. The basic go percent just bread and butter. Oh, there we go. There's 40% just punishing Shu landing on top of Iken. He might be getting a little bit brash once again when he sees Iken on the brink of defeat. Shu kind of letting down his guards a little more, getting a little more aggressive, trying to just finish this one out. He's opening himself up to some mistakes. Nice snare just to kind of catch Zero Suit jumping. And that's one thing, Zero Suit, she's kind of got to jump around and fall with aerials. So if you're able to catch her while she's, you know, before the aerials come out, that's a good way to stop her. But I can just stick in the shoe like glue. Oh no! He goes for the focus punch. It's not going to save him from a down smash, though. Shoe's hanging on to two stocks here, winning 3 0 over Iken and clinching that spot in top 32. Iken still in it, though. He's on the loser side of the bracket, continuing on with his run. So we'll probably have to make a couple more wins for himself on the loser side, ruin a couple more people's bracket runs that he can make it out as well. But yeah, uh, yeah, that was the first 3 0 of the day. Yeah, I can just have such a hard time getting in. I mean, I mean we talked about the, the neutral demon that Zerusu Samus is, and I can just starting on the bottom of a steep slope there with Ryu has a hard time getting against a lot of characters anyways, let alone ZSS. And Shu was doing a great